हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस सीरीज ऑफ जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज द सेल एज अ फील्ड एंड व्हाट आर द कोर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स दैट सेल एज अ फील्ड प्रोवाइड्स अस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू गो थ्रू ईच एंड एवरी फील्ड दैट सेल एज अ प्रोवाइड्स एंड बाय द एंड ऑफ दैट इफ यू आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद द फील्ड दैट सेल एज अ प्रोवाइड्स अस डोंट वरी वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड बिकॉज़ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आवर ओन कस्टम फील्ड फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच so let's get started and start understanding with the what is a sale as a field sale as a field handles converting between primitive value and internal data types they also deal with validating input value as well as retrieving and setting the value from the parent objects what does this mean don't worry about that thing we are going to dive deep inside this and understand what this means for now just understand what is this, uh, what is syntax for the sale as a sale as a it's like we import from the rational scope framework and use sale as a dot field name there are multiple field names that we are going to understand for now for example one of the field is care field so sale as a dot care field so now let's understand what are the core arguments that sale as a provide this sale as a field that we are going to learn will contain this core argument in that each and every sale as a field will have this argument by default in them so which are the uh, core arguments the first one is read only field So read only field is uh, said to be uh, default as false. But what does the read only field means? Read only field are included in API output, but should not be included in the input during create or update operation. So whenever we are creating or updating any of the um, value inside the model, the read only field is not included in that. The read only field is included only while we are representing it. Don't worry about that thing. We'll be um, demonstrating with a uh, demo in the next video. For now, understand that read-only field is um, false by default and it is not included while creation and updation of any uh, value. And the opposite of that is the uh, write-only field that is default as false and this uh, this is used while the creating and updating the instance but not included while representing it as an output. Okay. So the next one is um, required field. Required field means that um, is this the um value required or not by default it is true then there is a default field default field means what is the default value for this um field so the next one is allow null so by default the value is false but if you make allow null equal to true so you can store the null value inside that and if the value is um, default value is false we cannot store the uh, null value inside that if you try to store the null value in that you will get an error okay and there is a source value source um at uh, argument is used to tell from where we need to get the value from where is what is the source from where we can get the value and there is a validator this is the very important argument over here we are going to learn this validator deeply in our future video we are going to learn what are the different different levels in which the uh, validation provides a sale as a provide provides as the valid, uh, validations there is a error message what kind of error message we want to throw you know, when there is some error in the field and there is a label this label is a string uh, is a text string that will be used to name the field of, in the html form okay there is a description this tell us the description of the uh, field that you are going to use okay these are the all, all core arguments that each and every sale as a field process so now we are going to understand what are the different different kind of field so let's start with the first boolean field so as per the name you must be knowing uh, it is a boolean field so it be, uh, it will be having the two value true and false okay so whenever we wants to uh, so whenever we want that the field will have only two value true or false then we use a boolean field for example if you want to have a um, field which indicates that is the person married or not so we will have true or false okay so in it correspond to the um, django db model that boolean field so in the model we have the boolean field and it corresponds to the boolean field in sailizer okay so the next one is a uh, string field so there are multiple string string, string field in these sailizer parts we are going to learn we are going to see each and every of them one by one we we'll start with we we'll start with the character field so this is a normal text representation okay so and, and it correspond to the care field and the text field in the model so it has the four um, default value default value in it which is max length is none min length is uh, length is none allow blank is false and trim white space is true what is the uh, max length indicate uh, well it max length tell that the input value cannot contain the number more than this and there is a uh, same is the min length so it tells that the input value cannot contain the fewer character than this okay 
allow blank, allow blank as we discussed earlier what is allow blank then there is a trim white space if we um, assign true to, to this then the leading and the trailing white space will be trimmed from that okay so for example if you pass um text tsunami space 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 so whenever the text tsunami space 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 will come it will auto automatically get trimmed and stored as a text tsunami okay so the next one is the email field uh, it corresponds to the um, models.field.email field in our model part so it validates the valid email address um is passed or not in the field okay so it is a by default regex inside it which um, validate that the value that is coming in this field is proper email field or not and there is a regex field so whichever type of regex you want to add in this you can add so there is the regex argument in this so you can pass any kind of a regex and it will automatically check that regex for that okay it's correspond to the form dot field or regex field okay so the next one is the slug field so slug field is a by default regex of this so whenever the value is come it will validate against this regex and store the value inside the model database and the next one is the url field so url has the by default regex of this so as you can see there is a pattern over here and each and every uh, field has a uh, by default some kind of a regex or there is a different regex field which you can store over here okay and then, then there is an ip address field so this field ensure that the input is a valid ipv4 ipv6 string so it has a by default regex to check if the entry is of a proper valid ipv4 or ipv6 okay then then we have the uuid field it ensures that the input is a valid ui uh, string so everyone has the by default some kind of a regex in it which helps to check is the value coming is proper um, uh, validated form or not so this, this slide will be available to you you can download this thing uh, from my website so don't worry about that thing you can go through each and every one in detail right now i'm going through each and every one because there are many to cover okay now there is a file path field this is the field whose choice are limited to the file name in a certain directory or the file system okay this correspond to the form dot field or file path there is a path that we can provide in which the uh, file to need to be stored then there is a regular expression that we can provide over here and there are multiple things over here you can go through each and every one one by one so now we are done with the string field now we'll jump to the numeric field there are multiple numeric field we'll go through them one by one there is an integer field as you know as you know by the name it is an integer representation um, it corresponds to the model field dot integer field model fold, uh, field dot small integer field model field dot positive integer field and model field dot positive small integer field it is a two uh, arguments over here there are the core arguments other than core arguments there are the two arguments max value and min value max value means that the value cannot be greater than the uh, number provided in the max value mean value means the val val number cannot be greater than the number provided in the mean value okay the next is the float field over here as a name suggests floating point representation correspond to the model or field dot float field over here and same max value and mean value is a decimal field over here it is a decimal representation it correspond to models or field or decimal field over here there are multiple arguments which uh, decimal field provides uh, provide over here you can go through them one by one then there is a date time field it is a date and time representation it correspond to the model dot field of date time field there is a format in which we want to store the um, date over here there is a input format default time zone if you want to provide utc asia kolkata there are multiple time zones you can uh, use over here okay and there is a date field if you want only date to be stored over here and there is a date field over here and there is a time field if you want to store only time there is a time field over here and there is a duration field if you want to store the duration in a certain time from a uh, time frame like uh, date date hour minute second and you you there are multiple format in which you can provide over here okay so uh, the next one is the choice selection field the field that can accept a value uh, which we have provided in a set of a uh, um, tuple over here okay it is the field that can be accept a value out of a limited set of choice so the value which is out of the choice cannot be um, stored in this field it will throw an error that this value is out of the choice that we have provided okay this is single choice field there is uh, such a way there is a multiple choice field over here so next one is the um, file upload field so the first one is the file field in this part this is the file representation okay um is correspond to the form dot field or file field over here okay so there are uh, three arguments other than the core arguments over here max length like what could be the max length of the um, what could be the max length for the file name over here allow empty if you want to allow this file to be empty and there is a use url which url you are using to store this file over here okay then image field same we will be going through the composite fields over here there are different different kind of composite fields that is provided now this is the scope 
which is out of the as normal SQ light that they by default Django provides us. So now we this all field we can use in the Postgres part over here. Okay, so the list field over here. Um, list field means uh, inside the list, what kind of a field you want to store? Okay, so for us example, syntax is over here. Serializer dot list field, and we need, we need to provide which kind of a field will come inside the list field. So over here we have told the list field that the field value that will come inside this are the integer field. Okay, the same way there is a dictionary field over here. For the example dictionary field and child we want to provide like error field over here. Same way there is a um, edge store field. It is a pre-configured dict field that is compatible with Django push um, grace. Okay, in the same way the dict field they are it is the same as the dict field over here. Okay, there is JSON field. If you want to store whole JSON over here, then we can use JSON field over here. Okay, these are the all field that the serializer provides us. And other than that, if you are not satisfied with the field that uh, sale has give us, we will be creating our own custom field over here. So don't worry about that. We'll just jump on to our Visual Studio code and start coding our own custom field. Okay, so here we are on our best IDE Visual Studio code. So this is the serializer that we have created over here. Okay, so there is a student serializer. There is a three fields over here, which one is the ID field, which is an integer field. Is a name field, role field. Okay, name is the character field and role is same as the character field. Okay, so these are the um, by default field that serializer provides us. So now uh, let's take a uh, scenario that um, the name that we get from the front end or the other application people, we want always the name to be stored as a capital in our database. So whole capital is a in our database. So if we use a character field, it will store as it is that come from the front end or other application. So we'll create our own custom field which will always store the um, value in the capital okay so to start with that what we'll do first we'll define our own class let's 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 name it tag tsunami string field okay so we can give any name which we want so we'll be inheriting this from the since this is going to be a string field so we'll use one of the string field that is already been created that is the tail as a dot care field Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to def uh, start define the uh, constructor first. Constructor for that, yeah. So it takes the uh, init is the constructor by default in the uh, Python. Okay, self is the argument which it takes, then there is a quark, and we need to super uh, super dot init means it will call the um, character field uh, constructor. Okay, so now we need to call one of the function uh, built in function inside this, which is the run underscore validation. Okay, so it will take, uh, it will get the data. Okay, so I'll explain what this thing do over here. Okay, so by the name run validation, it uh, it means that we uh, there are some kind of validation that gets run inside it. So we don't need to worry about this thing because the by default validation that the character uh, field provide us will uh, run when we call this thing. But if you want to create your own validation, if you want to create some kind of or your own validation, we'll do it over here. So let's say, for example, we want only string field over here. Uh, other than string, whatever things come, we want to throw an error. So for that, what we'll do, we'll do is if not is instance. Okay, what does the is instance do? Is instance check the value that is get is passed is the same or not? So for example, they will pass the data over here and we'll pass the string. So what it will do is it will see that the data, that the type of the data is string or not. So if it is a string, it will pass the value as true, and if it is not, it will pass the false. So whenever the value is not string, we need to throw an error. So for that, we'll do is raise our own custom error for that serializer dot validation error, and we'll write um, data enter should be should be string type. Okay. So this will this error will get um, thrown over here. So now what we need to do is we need to store the data in an upper case. So for that we'll do data equal to data dot upper. Okay. So we have initialized our own custom field over here. So now what we need to do is we need to assign it uh, to one of our classes. So we'll copy it from here and we'll assign to our name field. Okay. So now we have assigned the name field over here. So now we'll so for that, um, so now we need to check does it work properly or not. So for that, what we'll do, we will go to Python manager py shell. Okay. So first we'll import the serializer class and all everything of serializer over here. So for that, from 
DRF underscore app our application name as you can see the application name is over here DRF app dot serializer import student serializer okay so we have initialized our own serializer so now we need to pass the data over here so for that we need to first create our own data so we'll create a data data equal to we'll provide id as one then we'll provide name as in small tag tsunami and we'll pass the role uh, we'll pass the role as any random number a b c d d d d okay so we have defined our data over here so now we need to pass the data in a serializer and we'll store in one of a variable so let's and uh, take the name as stood stu underscore cd okay excellent and now we'll pass in the inside the student serializer we'll pass data equal to data so now since we have passed the data inside the student serializer we have initialized a serializer over here so now we need to check is the, uh, does the data that we have provided to a student serializer is valid or not so for that what we'll do is we'll do stu underscore cd dot is uh, dot is underscore valid okay so it is telling that the data that we have provided is valid okay so now since we have passed the data over here we need to check the result is the result proper or not so for the what we'll do is we'll do stu underscore theory dot data so as you can see the data that we are getting over here is capital tech tsunami so our custom string for field is working over here as you can see in name we have used our custom field and in the role we have used our normal character field over here so let's create a one um, scenario for the validation to uh, check over here so for that we'll tweak our data over here in instead of string field over here we'll pass some integer value let's pass one two three four let's again initialize our um serializer over here now check is it valid or not so it's selling it's not valid so to check what kind of error we are getting over here so for that what we need to do we need to do two underscore series dot um errors so it is telling that the data enter should be a string type which is the same error that we have passed over here this is the way you can create your own custom field over here and you can pass your uh, you can also create your own uh, validation inside that field i hope this video was useful to you if you get uh, if you got any kind of a knowledge if you got any kind of a um, key uh, insight from this video please press the like button comment your thoughts and tell me what kind of um, more information you want to see from our channel please subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss the future updates that you will be getting in our video till then Take care.